Okay, so I needed more mortars and slightly less helicopters on that one. Uh, let's see. Let's restart. This isn't helpful. Get him, shooty boy. Because I don't think the druid was actually that good. Hell, he had no camo. Oh, were they... Were they camo ceramic? This is gonna hurt. Is, is wave 78 camo ceramic? Because that, that would explain everything. Uh, it's okay. Well, actually, let's let's go for the let's go for this and go for pin. I think I need the sentry guns. Maybe if I have pin, it won't be so bad. This is, this is way too much, uh, too much damage. Hmm. I feel like this guy is probably good enough. Yeah, we're still going to get a couple of leaks here, but maybe I can swing it. The problem is what we need is the sentry guns. Anyway, why are you using the engineer there? I wanted to, uh... Oof. This is rough. I wanted to put balloon tra traps there. I think the the druid is by and far the the better option here. I want to make the switch between regular content and quality content. You should complain about the algorithm changes. Actually, so I feel like the algorithm is kind of mixed because ultimately the algorithm is just slightly create uh well, slightly created. The algorithm is largely created to give people what they want or show them what they think they want. And that, like, vapid content would have no place on social media if people didn't consume it. Shell? Ah. Uh, that, you know, there, there are a lot of people out there that don't care what they watch. They really don't. They don't, they don't care where it came from. They don't care who made it. They don't care... You know, whether or not it's stolen, whether or not it's, like, just regurgitated content. They just turn it on as kind of white noise. Or they just don't think deep enough to actually care. I, I truly do not know. But the algorithm, at least uh, currently as far as, like, YouTube is concerned, for example, uh, the algorithm is currently always seeking content that keeps people on the platform for as long as possible. Uh, so, I guess to explain to explain it, uh, let's see, do I go sprockets? Yeah, let's go sprockets. Let, let's finish this build out. Um, so, if you guys watch this video, and then you stop watching YouTube uh, for the day, you know, you you go on with your life. You go out, you go do something else. And that's a consistent thing. Not just, like, just for one person, but, like, that's that's usually how it works. With, um... With whenever you watch this video. YouTube will say, shit, we shouldn't show this. We want to keep people on YouTube for as long as possible. Uh, and so, if they will say, never mind. Uh, this video gets gets... Not thrown in the bin, you know, it'll still get recommended to people that will go out of their way to watch it. Um.
but it's it's otherwise kind of a, a persona non grata as far as videos go. Whereas if you find another video that not only convinces you to watch, uh, you know, the video itself and potentially stick around for the entire thing, but then move on to seven other videos on YouTube, YouTube's like, holy shit, this is great. You know, we, we need a, we need more of this. And so they will promote that video. Yeah, I, I know where I went wrong on the last round. Ah, we got, we let one through. That's okay though. These black balloons are mean though. Okay. Yeah, I should have gone for shattering shells, because that would have done it. The community section breaks YouTube. It doesn't actually. Uh, all it is is YouTube, YouTube actively tries to promote uh, stuff in the community tab, because people actually react to it. And people are way more likely to actually react to community post stuff, because it's easy to do so. You know, how many of you guys will actually watch an entire video, and how many of you guys will just, like, thumbs up or vote on a poll? And so, like, I, I'm sure there's a lot of really intelligent, uh, watchers. Intelligent watchers? I feel like that's demeaning to other people. But there are watchers on, on YouTube or Twitch or whatever. Uh, that really will curate exactly what they're watching, only pick and choose and really make the most of the platform. I think it's just one of those that it's it's very easy to... Yep, that's the wrong one. It's very common for a lot of these, these people specifically to... These people, these viewers, certain viewers to just not care. No matter what it is. And maybe it's something to do with kids. I, I know for a while, uh, part of the reason why the COPPA situation happened a year, year ago, and I got to do a video on this, uh, was because a lot of parents uh, more or less realized that, hey, I can just stick my kid in front of YouTube for the afternoon and they're placated. And so you would just kind of have these endless content farms that are just utter trash, purely, purely with the intent of uh, devouring a kid's time as much as possible. There was nothing there. There was no actual lesson. It's, uh, it was all just like weird baby garbage and nothing more. Yeah, some of it was also violent and pornographic too. Um, but YouTube, of course, isn't actually paying attention. They don't. Why would they? And so, uh... Do you want to go Shell Shock or Heavy Shells? Let's actually go Shell Shock, shock on this one. The stun's probably more useful. Don't need... Uh, let's see. Don't get why we need the copy stuff applying to YouTube. Uh, is that not the entire point of YouTube Kids? The problem is, like I said, parents are sticking their kid in front of YouTube. And so, well, it should not have been an issue. There was no easy way to, uh, to force these parents to actually do things correctly. And, and yeah, these content farms were aiming at kids anyway. So like, it, it was, it was two groups exploiting the platform. Uh, for effectively their own benefit. I should really get these farms down. Um, you know, parents uh, ex exploiting YouTube. Using YouTube as kind of a replacement for actually taking care of their kids. And then these content farms uh, exploiting YouTube for mad ad bucks because kids would watch endless amounts of content. Um, and there was no quality control saying like, no, you can't do this. And so it sucked. But at the same time, like, there was about maybe an after, or not an afternoon. There was like a period of about a month where everybody was like freaked out 
as hell uh, about Kappa, and then nothing happens, to my knowledge. I think there's, like, a couple of channels that got uh, smacked around in a bad way. But otherwise, like, nothing bad happened. So I've always been a little cavalier about how Kappa went down, because it was just like, yep, that was a non-issue for most people. The Adpocalypse is way worse. Though I think, actually, the Adpocalypse still is a net gain for creators. You're probably not going to get a whole lot of creators that actually recognize that. Oh, shit. Um... Okay, let's, let's get one more of these. Aim it here. Damn. That sucks. We absolutely can beat this. No, this is bad placement. Don't wanna don't wanna try like a ninja instead. Let's try the ninja instead. Cause he's not gonna be able to take out all of these. But with ninja discipline and seeking shuriken, he should be able to throw into there. I was too heavily focused on farms and for too long. Oh, I'm well aware of that. It's one of those where Bloons is, is a game that you are perfectly fine until you're not. And it's not actually very obvious where that tipping point is. Oh, this is really good, actually. It's depressingly dystopian about children getting neglected a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's horrible. I um I actually get really uncomfortable when I go to restaurants, buffets especially, because it is not uncommon to walk in on like a a young family and it's you know maybe par uh mo mother father one or two kids, and the kid is glued to a phone. Or an iPad. Or... Yeah, a phone or an iPad. And they're watching some... It's... It's trash. It's always trash. You can hear it in the background, and it is just like... Like, Arthur was fantastic growing up. That that was a show with... That was, like, actively trying to teach morals, and... Lessons, and information. Magic School Bus was even better. And, like, this is just, like, bright colors, loud noises, some songs, and nothing. No soul behind it, save for, you know, whatever they managed to suck out of the artist that they, they forced to make the game. And that's about it. I don't necessarily know if TV shows have regressed a lot, but a lot of the younger audience stuff uh, has, has generally turned out to be worse. But not always, like, I don't know. Uh, there's some really standout stuff. Like, I really wish I had uh, had, say, Gravity Falls growing up. Because I feel like Gravity Falls would have been incredible as a child. But as an adult, I could appreciate it just as much. But I guess Gravity Falls is like 10 years old now, so... Um, but there's a lot of content like that that... Do we go Cal Caltrops? Sure. It's like a minor detractor. And this way we don't have to worry about... Stealth. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and mix up the formula a little bit. We're actually gonna get the banana farm down early. We'll go from there. Miss Gargoyles, that was a good show. Gargoyles was a great premise, but it Gargoyles was a show that absolutely should have had a beginning, a middle, and an end planned out from the get-go, as opposed to um what they did, which was keep it going as long as possible until it got cancelled, at which point uh, whoops a do.
Because, yeah, I love Gargoyles, but I don't really feel terribly compelled to actually go back and watch it. Because every time I, like, try and look into Gargoyles, I'm like, oh. Yeah, it's, um... They really didn't have a plan there, did they? Not that it's that big of a deal. Oh. <sighs> They got screwed by the fact that it was a good time period for everything to be episodic rather than have a story plan. Yep. And so, like, I would I would be over the moon if we got a new Gargoyles. Uh, that... Like... If Gargoyles was made by... Gosh. The problem is, like, that still happens, though. Like, I really liked the, uh, the modern Voltron. I thought it was really good. I don't know how many of you guys uh, watched it, but like that's a that's a legitimately good show. Up until the very end, at which point it gets it's just it's just like everything on fast forward because it I guess it got canceled. It felt very strange because it was just kind of like well and that's it and it's like what but huh. A yeah, big problem is that you only target one spot. Yeah, so what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to have this guy aiming here with the stripping. And then I'm actually going to aim, uh, have most of my artillery maybe pointed here instead. Never heard of Gargoyles till today. Uh, it's the old Gargoyles, uh, animated television show. It was, it was a thing in the late 90s, early 2000s. It was actually, like, really good. Uh... At least by my standards, at the time it was really good. It's just hard to go back to, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try a couple of different things. I think the helicopters are the key. Are they actually that good? Seems like they're flying around doing nothing. No, it's flying around wiping everything out. Okay, so here's my thoughts. Helicopters don't have natural stealth detection. But we absolutely can give them that. Oh, it allows them to pop all balloon types. Oh, and we can get the Monkey Town. I didn't even think about Monkey Town. Let's see. They do have anti-camo. You're right. The boring, the boring branches of the helicopter have anti, uh, have anti-camo. But I'm not here for that. Probably go... Actually, is this worth it? Now let's go, let's go Monkey Town first. And then Monkey City? Oh. Absorbs all nearby banana farms and their income, freeing up space for new monkeys. Okay. So, this is starting to get a bit dicier, but that's, that's fine. I kind of expected this. And we got money. So let's get some Razor Rotors.
We'll probably still want to get pick up one thing of uh, Moab Shove. There we go. Now we got at least one. All right, let's speed this back up again. Yeah, Gargoyles was, was intended for kids, but adults loved it. I remember reading a story about how one of the story panels were trying to describe something. They originally used an MLP reference, and none of the audience got it. And then they did a Macbeth audience, and then they got it. That's amusing. But yeah, probably completely appropriate. Here's the other thing. I can just put this guy down over here. Okay. Yeah, giving them the anti-camo is huge. I'll have to take a look at the, uh... The Monkeyopolis. Though I get the feeling that's so expensive it's not even gonna be... Like, that's not even gonna track. There we go. I could save up for an Apache dart ship, and I probably should. But maybe, let's do the Comanche defense first. Just because. Oh yeah. I have just like a billion of these guys. Hold up. Okay. This is scuffed. When in doubt. Okay, I still have four four more free boosted monkeys. Uh Anywho, let's see, sharp shots. I guess enhanced eyesight, but that's not really that helpful. There's our ultra juggernaut. Might as well grab that. Uh, let's see. the Super Monkey Fan Club. Oh, nearby Dart Monkeys into Super Monkeys. Okay. Oh, well, here's here's my solution. To everything. We just make it stupid. Let's see. 
these capped out. Nope. There we go. Problem solved. Gosh, I still have 12 of these. Um, I, get, I guess we got the money. The primary expertise is too expensive. Go monkey commerce. This is jank. Welcome to Spike Ball Hell. Everyone always says. Go big or go home. And you know what? They're wrong. More. This is gonna... This is gonna cause some issues. Guaranteed. I hope you like spike balls. I brought enough for everyone. Well, there we go. Who needs finesse when you're me? I will definitely have to try Monkeyopolis. Oh shit, it's not even that expensive. Okay, I want to I want to try this. So if I put another down next to it, does it just get it absorbed in? No. So it'll free up room. Is an extra 5,000 per monkey farm in range? I'm going to have to look this up. and figure out how it's supposed to work. Because I am a little lost. All right, I'm gonna grab recurring ranks. Oh, I've got some extra points here. Uh, do I have eight yet? Yeah. No, I need one more. Well, we might as well get four and one. Two crossbow masters. Moab press pushes them back further. My molar, turbo charge. And realistically, we have to get on this. I require. Uh, I guess we only need one more point. We're actually getting really close to uh, being able to afford that. Okay, so we'll do one more run, which hopefully will let me get the bonus monkey and more cash. Either it's like one or two more maps, and then we're actually golden. Because these, these two things opens up pretty much the rest of the game for me. Because just the extra singular tower to just be there is nice.